What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be doing a full face testing a bunch of new makeup. I'm going to have a lot of like testing new makeup videos coming up because there has been so much newness that is so exciting. Today's is like a lot of like more natural sort of makeup products, more like everyday natural, pretty glowy skin. So you guys know that's what I love. So I'm very, very excited to try out all of these products and let you know whether or not they're good or you should skip on them and save your money. So without further ado, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads and let's Let's go ahead and get started. All right, before we jump in to the makeup, I'm gonna go in and protect my skin with some sunscreen. Y'all know I am the sunscreen queen. If you have watched my content, you have heard me talk about sunscreen so many times. I do use it every single day. And it is important that you protect your skin with sunscreen every single day as well, because if you're buying all this fancy new makeup, skincare, all that kind of stuff, and then not protecting your skin with SPF, it's waste in general, you know? So I'm gonna be using this one from Isden today. This is very, very good. This is their tinted one. The actual name is Arifatona Ageless Ultra Light Emulsion Broad Spectrum SPF. 50. It's a mouthful, but this is one of my favorite sunscreens. It's very light and as you can see it's tinted So it doesn't give any white cast to the skin and it works very well underneath makeup So you can use this right underneath and layer your makeup right on top Isden also does have a untinted one if you just want like your regular, you know, like white um, sunscreen, but this one does not give a white cast either. I just prefer the tinted one, but as you can see, this one also blends into the skin seamlessly. So they do have both options. I want to thank Isden for partnering with me on this section of today's video, but I have talked about the importance of SPF on my channel for so many years, and it is personally something that I don't skimp on having fair skin. I am prone to burning. I have dealt with both of my parents having skin cancer. It's just not something that I mess around with. So I always like to make sure that my skin is properly protected, and I'm always down to try new sunscreens that will work well for my skin, because I do have sensitive skin. That's like the twofold to it too. So a lot of sunscreens can make me break out. These ones do not, which is really nice. If you search them, you will see a lot of dermatologists recommending Isden and their sun care products. They do have other skincare products as well. They also, I just got this, which I'm very excited about. This is a mineral facial powder. So this is also SPF 50. And so if I already have like a full face of makeup on, obviously I'm not going to go in with like a liquid sunscreen. So then I can use this and it's a powder and go over top, which is really, really nice, especially for like long days. If I know I'm going to be like outside and want to keep reapplying, this is really great. So I'm very excited about that. They are mineral sunscreens too. They don't irritate the eyes. I will say they are a little bit more on the pricier side when it comes to sunscreen, but with these, you get a hundred milliliters of product. So that's nearly double any other facial sunscreen that I have. So you're getting double the amount of product. So the price per ounce on this is actually less. And like I said, it's just a really good product. So I think it's well worth it, but did just want to call out the larger amount of product that you do get. And they're having their summer sale right now. So the entire site is 20% off until the 9th of July. But then they did also give me a code, which is Kelly summer. And that's going to give you a 20% discount and a free premium sample of their age contour cream. So I will have all that that information linked down below in the description box if you guys want to check it out. All right, now we're going to go ahead and jump in to makeup. Up first, I want to try this. Now, I really hope I like this and I'm really interested to see if it's actually worth the money. This is from NYX and this is their Face Freezy. I bought this at Ulta. It was $20, which for a drugstore primer is quite expensive, but this is basically supposed to be a cooling primer plus moisturizer. So they're trying to say that it can be like a primer and a moisturizer in one. So we're going to see. Um, I do typically like cooling face primers. It also has a very cool texture, if you can see that. So I'm like, all right. I'm just gonna take some on my finger, tap it onto my skin. Ooh, okay. I can immediately feel a cooling. And let me go in and apply. Okay, it actually does feel very nice and it is blurring to the skin, which I like. Okay, interestingly enough, literally as I applied that, my mom called me, so I answered the phone. And so it's been like five minutes since I've applied it and it still feels very cooling on my face. So I actually really do like the way that it feels and it did blur the skin out a little bit. I was gonna be skeptical of this one, honestly, because for the 20 bucks, I was like, it better be like, you know, high end good. And I actually really do think that it is good. It feels very nice. So I feel like in the summer, if you're somebody that like runs hot, you want something nice cooling and hydrating for the skin, you will actually really, really like this. And I do like the way it looked on the skin too. So pleasantly surprised. I'll give it that. Okay, for a foundation, I'm gonna go in with this one. This is from Say, and this is their Glowy Super Skin Foundation. This is basically supposed to be like the most skin-like foundation ever. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit and then we're gonna go in. I have it in shade eight, which hopefully will match, but it's supposed to be like a skincare infused, ooh, very liquidy. <laughs> a very skin-like foundation. So I'm just gonna pounce it on. Hmm, this actually looks very nice. It's supposed to be like a lighter foundation. So I'm not expecting like full coverage or anything like that. And it does feel very light on my skin, but I do feel like it's still giving me a pretty good coverage. It is a little light in comparison to my neck. So I probably will need to get like the next shade if I like it, but let's go in with this and see. I'm sure we'll be able to make it work. Okay, feels very, very lightweight on the skin. I still feel that cooling primer, which is interesting too, but 
This layered really nicely on top of it has a little bit of a glow to it, but looks really beautiful and very light. If you like, you know, full coverage matte foundations, this is basically the exact opposite. Very light and skin-like, but feels very, very nice. So I feel like for an everyday sort of foundation, this would be really, really nice. If you have more oily type skin, you're definitely gonna wanna set this because it definitely does have quite a bit of glow to it, which I do like, but it's not really like a natural finish, I wouldn't say, definitely like a glow finish but feels really really nice i'm gonna wear this throughout the entire day so do check the description box and i will update it with how it wears on the skin as the day goes on but i do really like the way that it looks upon first application so that is good i'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer just underneath my eyes i don't have anything new so i'm just using tarte shape tape just to conceal and then i have like a million other face products that i want to try i just did not have a new concealer so I'm gonna go in and quickly do that. Okay, for contour, I wanna try out this. This is new from Give Beauty, which is Gwen Stefani's brand. This is their Pick It Up Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. So you get a cream contour and then a powder contour or a bronzer. So I'm gonna go in with the cream one and we're gonna use that to sculpt out our face. If I have a bronzer brush, a little contour brush, I'm gonna get some on my brush and go in and tap. Well, this is nice because this is like a very cool tone. I think the shade on this is heating up, but it's very cool toned, which like for contour is really nice. So I like that. And it is blending quite easily as well. Okay, so far I do like the cream version. It's nothing revolutionary, but it blended really easily into the skin. It's cool toned, which is great for contour. So I liked that. We're gonna go in and use the powder version, but I still have a couple more cream products to try before we use that. But the cream one I did think is nice. Now I have two different cheek products that are cream that I want to try. So I'm going to do one cheek with one, one cheek with the other. So on the one side, we're going to use the new Makeup by Mario Cream Blush. This is the Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil in the shade Just Peachy. So I got this initially in the pinky shade. I think it's called like Pink Pop or something and fell in love with it. It is so beautiful. So I got the peach one and I'm going to go in with this on my cheeks like these. I was skeptical because they're 40 bucks, I'm pretty sure. So like, yeah, they're pricey for a cream blush. And I was like, do I really need another cream blush? No, but how... Stinking pretty. Oh, I like this one too. The little peachy, perfect for summer. And what I really like about these is the formula. Like they almost, they give a glow to the skin, but there's no glitter in them. So they just make you look like glowing without just having like chunky glitter, which is I feel like a lot of times what glow products have in them. Like they almost make the skin look wet, but they're not like super tacky to the touch or anything on the skin. They're really, really nice. This is beautiful. I love this. So these have really, really impressed me. But another product that I've really been wanting to try, which I haven't tried this yet, this is from Fenty and this is part of their new like summer collection. And this is their color adaptive cheek and lip stain in the shade Strawberry Pop. So it looks like this. And it's supposed to be basically like color changing, I believe. So I'm gonna like draw it on my cheeks. Ooh. How pretty is that? I'm just gonna tap it out with my finger. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, this is actually really stunning too. Tapping on a little bit more. This one's definitely more pinky, like almost a little bit of a purpley undertone, but I love this. <gasps> Ooh, very pretty and like light and natural for the summer. And also gives a bit of a glow to the cheeks without having any glitter. These cream products are really very good. This is very pretty too, I like that. I'm gonna like mix together the two blush colors now just so it doesn't look like we're <laughs> glaringly wearing two different blushes. But both are really, really pretty. Okay, now I'm very intrigued. I've been wanting to try this. I've had this like put aside for a while, but this is new from Makeup Forever and I love their HD skin setting powders, but they came out with a new one. This is the Twist and Light. So I have this in shade medium. I don't really know exactly how this works. So I'm gonna just open it up and we're gonna take a look. Cause there's like two different colors in here, if you can see, or actually three different colors in here. And I feel like they're supposed to twist together to like make the perfect shade or something. But how do you even do this? I think you twist the top like this. Hang on, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I literally had to watch a tutorial, but you basically like twist this back and forth and then you get all powder in here and it has like all the three different shades. I'm gonna just tap it into like the top here so we can get it in there. And it's very interesting because it's basically like a salmon color, a like greenish sort of color, and then like a tan. So I'm like, I don't know how this is supposed to make like a setting powder color, but it is. I'm gonna just like swirl it together on my brush. This is supposed to be a luminous setting powder too. So I'm gonna just go in. Um, okay. Oh, I actually like the luminosity that it gives. I feel like I can see the greeny part a little bit too much. Like maybe I should have mixed it together, but like mixed it together more thoroughly. Cause I feel like at first I thought I could see like the more greeny 
sort of undertone on my face, but now I feel like I can't see it anymore. So maybe like just when I first applied it, I thought I saw a little bit too much of this color. It does give a cool though, like finish to the skin. It is radiant, like it gives a glow to the skin, but it's still obviously setting your face, just not making you matte like most other powders would do. I don't hate it. I definitely like the regular HD skin powder better. Those are like my OG holy grails. I love those and they're the best. So this is not going to be replacing that for me. It is definitely an interesting product though. And if you want something that's gonna give you more of like a glow finish versus your traditional like matte finish, then you might like this. I personally would go more for just like the matte regular finish of their HD skin powder cause it's not drying, but it's definitely like a cool and interesting product. I feel like I have to test it and use it a few more times, but on first application, I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. I feel like I'm like indifferent, you know? There's definitely products I like better and definitely other products that I like less. Okay, now we're gonna go in with a few more powder products. So I have also from Give Beauty. This is their, this is technically supposed to be a highlighter, but it's in the shade Carrot Country. So it, I'm gonna use this more so as like an all over bronzer. I love to do like a little bronzy glow moment. So let's see. Ooh, yes, this can definitely be used as that. Cause sometimes it can be too much, but I feel like this can definitely be used as like a glow bronzer. Definitely a bit more like cool undertone, which is like how the cream was, which we are going to use that powder too, to contour out the face. But I just wanted to go over with this a little bit, but this definitely is pretty. I'm going to put a little bit of this actually on my eyes too, to just give us a little bit of glow on there. Now I'm going into this one, which has the cream and I'm going to go in with this powder. The powder is definitely a bit light, but I still think I can use it. And I'm gonna contour with that. Oh yeah, I feel like this is almost deceiving. Like it shows up pretty good, honestly, on the face. So no complaints there. Okay, now let's jump into the highlight. This is Homegrown Glow. It looks like this. And I'm gonna just mix my brush in on all the shades and go on the cheeks. Okay, pretty. It's not my favorite, honestly. It's not bad, but I feel like it's emphasizing my texture. So I don't love that. I like like highlights that smooth over my texture where I feel like this one is a little bit emphasizing it. So I don't love that. So probably wouldn't be one I would use again on my face. I will use a little bit of it and like highlight my eyes, but the highlight on my fave, I don't have any new brow products. So I'm just going to fill them in slightly just so we can like actually see my brows. Okay. Now for mascara, I'm excited. We're going to try this. This is new from LYS. I don't know if it's LYS or LYS. I think it's LYS, but I could be wrong. Um, everyone is going crazy over their contour. Uh, wand Meredith Duxbury like uses that and it looks like it blends like actual butter every time I try and look for it It's sold out though, but I do have their new mascara. This is the lash confidence mascara from them So let's test it out and see this is what the wand looks like. It's pretty curved So hopefully it's good and like lifting because that's what I like in my mascaras going in with this Okay, this is actually very lifting and like lengthening. I feel like it makes my lashes look really long. I don't know if I'm being messy or it's because it is so curved. I feel like I'm getting it all over my eyelids, which is fine. I can just go in with the Q-tip and like clean that up. But I wonder if, if it's from the curve of the wand is making me like hit up there a little bit more than usual. Or maybe I'm just being lazy and messy today, but I don't feel like I am. But could definitely be a user error as well. But I feel like this does a nice job on my lashes. Okay, I went to go add a little bit more and became very clumpy. So don't do that. I would stop after like two coats of that. I'm gonna try and like go and separate my lashes now. That was my own fault for trying to go in with more, but not a bad mascara, just definitely not gonna replace like my Milani Anti-Gravity or my OG favorites. So not bad, but also not my favorite. I feel like indifferent to it, I guess. Although I do really wanna try their contour stick because that looks amazing whenever I can get my hands on it. Now, for lippies, I have two that I wanna try. One is this low recipe. P Plump Plump Hyaluronic Gloss Balm. I have seen so many people rave about this. They have their plump for the skin, but this is for the lips and it's supposed to be so good. So I'm just gonna get some and go on and like, oh, wow. Okay, this actually is really nice. It looks super glossy. It doesn't, it has a scent, but it's very light, which surprises me because I feel like a lot of Glow Recipes products are really scented. This is like very lightly scented, but I do like the way that looks on the lips. It kind of reminds me of the Laneige. Um, their lip products. This one definitely reminds me of it. It feels very nourishing, but almost looks like a lip gloss, which I do like. And now I do really want to try one of these new Tarte lippies. They sent these out to me and I was like, ooh, I love their like Maracuja Juicy Lips, but these are their Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump Gloss. So I have all these glosses. This bright pink one is the one that's calling my name. This is in the shade Big Ego. So I'm going to go in with this. Ooh, on my lips. I'm going to go right over top. <gasps> Oh, I love these already. I love Tarte's glosses. You guys know their H2O gloss and Sandy Toes is like my OG because it was so glossy looking. And this is like even more glossy looking. Oh, wow. Like it'll literally turn your lips into like a mirror. That's how glossy that it looks. Okay. 
I really, really like these. They come in a bunch of different colors too. Like you can get like darker colored ones. If you want something that'll give a little more color to your lips, this one was like a little bit more natural, not adding a super ton of color. And it feels like cooling. It doesn't have like that stinging plumping feeling. It's more so like the cooling plumping feeling. So I like that. This is really nice. This is definitely gonna be something that I'm gonna use a lot. I can already tell. But yeah, that is everything, you guys. I feel like we had some hits and misses. There were things that I liked more than others. Check the description box for a wear test on the foundation. So far, I do really like it on my skin. My skin does feel very nice. Doesn't feel drying or anything at all, which I do really like. But I'll link all the products down below. Do my little update. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.